channel if you're new to the channel my name is Gemma and I'm losing weight following a calorie controlled diet using the NutriCheck app I will be showing you what I eat for around 1400 calories today it's the 3rd of March and it's World Book Day so Kayla is dressed up behind me as Harry Potter kind of a mix between Harry and Hermione I think she's the um the love child <laughs> <laughs> she's got She's got cockeyed glasses because someone stood on them. So we're going to set off, take Kayleigh to school, and then I'll have some breakfast. So I'm back in from the school run, and I thoroughly enjoyed my breakfast yesterday. So I'm just going to have the same. I'm just going to have a bacon and egg on um, a toasted Warburton's muffin with some ketchup on because it was delicious. So I'm just going to pop two rushes of bacon, bacon medallions, into Ninja. It takes about 10 minutes, um, and I will catch up with you in a bit. So this is breakfast this morning for 250 calories and I'm going to be wrapping it in foil to take in my office to eat in a few minutes. So I'm very much looking forward to this. So dinner is cooking. I am using the Ninja. I'm going to use it as much as I possibly can to get my money's worth. I have got, I can't really see because it's a bit dark in this corner, but I've got a chicken fillet in there. I've cooked it in the same pan that I did, the same thing that I did the um, baking in this morning. So that's why it's gone a bit... Thingy, but obviously it's got a drip tray because so I'm not count, counting any oil. I've got a flat mushroom and there's um that's a um potato skin. So I'm gonna check it's got 52 seconds left. I'm gonna just check my chicken inside to make sure it's cooked. <laughs> obviously, I need to weigh it. Um I've just had to deliver it this morning from the fabulous JD seasoning, so thank you very much for these. Um, I am an ambassador for the seasoning brand, so if you do want to try them, if you use my code PEACEGOOD20, you will get 20% off any order. It's not just your first order, it's any order. They're the seasonings that you get. You get them in a box like this. I think you get them in a box like this if you order like 6 or um, 20. I'm not, I'm not sure how they come otherwise. Um, you can order absolutely what you want. You can order individuals or they do like um, fake way boxes and stuff like that. Um, but I've ordered my favourites, so I've ordered five chip and wedge season. I love this chicken rub, especially um, barbecue season. Bar uh, Bombay potatoes, fajita, barbecue rub, perfect roast potatoes. I'm not a great lover of this one just because it's quite peppery, but a lot of people rave about this, but I suppose it just depends if you like pepper or not. Um, salt and pepper chips, taco, and I've got this because... I absolutely love minted lamb and I just think lamb would cook so nice at Ninja. So I've got three of those and a Spanish chicken. Um, so yeah, they're very, very low calories and I think they're still sim free on Slimming World. So if you do want to try them, this is the website. I'll pop it up on screen and this is the code. So this is dinner today for 394. The potato looks burnt, but it's not. It's actually crisp and nicely. Um, and quite a big chicken fillet. So I'm hoping, because I'm going to do a double at gym tonight. So I'm hoping that it will keep me full. I've obviously got the fibre from the broccoli and the potato skin. I've got the protein um, from the chicken and then whatever the mushroom gives me. I've also included 20 grams of the reduced salad cream. I did want barbecue sauce, but I have run out. So I need to go and get some Crucius barbecue. But yes, this is dinner, so I'll pop the um, calories up on screen. So it's 20 to 4. I'm off to the gym at 5 o'clock and I'm doing a double, so I won't be finished till 7. So I'll not get my tea till quarter past 7. So I'm going to have pie and veg for my tea. I'm going to cook it now and warm it up when I get back. So I'm not cooking forever. So I want something that's going to be filling... Um, but quite light, so I'm going to have a fibre one bar and a bag of quavers. So the quavers are 86 calories and the fibre one is 88. So these will be my last snacks for the day. And then obviously I've got the meal when I get back from the gym. So I will catch up with you shortly. Well, I've just picked um, our Kaylee up and just dropped some stuff off at my mum's house ready for coming back off holiday. And then I've just got a message to say the gym's cancelled. I'd started to feel crap, and that's because I worked myself up. Hang on. I'd worked myself up because I was nervous about doing two classes. So, yeah, I've got my normal body aches and that. Um, I'm trying to push myself to do something at home, but I just, I'm, 
I mean, middle of the week, kids' tea, Steve's working on table, there's not much room, and I just think, I know I'm making excuses. I don't know whether I'm going to or not. But trouble is, I just had that bag crisp and thingy because I was just going to have pie and veg. If, if I'd have known that Jim were cancelled, I'd have had mash, pie and veg instead of the snacks, but never mind. I think I might just relax and watch a film, you know. Anyway, whatever I do, I'll let you know. So this is tea for 559 calories. I'll pop the breakdown on screen. Well, as you can see, I have not done a workout. Couldn't motivate myself to do it, I really couldn't. And 6,000 steps, which I know it's not a lot, but to say I've been sat down five hours, no, what day is it? Thursday, six hours. Uh, it's not bad going. I just want to relax tonight. I'm a bit achy, um, feeling all right. I've enjoyed my food today. I've really had a good food day. I haven't had a look at the nutritional information, but I obviously I had bacon. I'm just trying to think of anything that I've had really, like, I don't think I've had a lot of saturated fat, is what I'm thinking. Um, because the, the bacon rinds, uh, there were rindless ones, and it's just the pie. So we'll see whether that takes us over. Takes us. I'm saying it like you're doing this with me, but... Um, takes me over my saturated fat but no I think it should be good nutritional I think I've had a good week with nutritional information actually I might have a look at it for a week but what I'll do is when I um, do my weighing results on Saturday which I'm hoping will be a loss fingers crossed it should be a loss what have I done I'm trying to think at weekend what did I do at weekend can't remember can't remember I did exercise Saturday and Sunday with Steve, didn't I? Did we have good food days? Sunday dinner, didn't we? I think I've had a good week all week. I'm going to have to have a look at that. But anyway, way day on Saturday, so I've got tomorrow left. If the gym's open, I'm going to the gym. And then we will be having a chip shop after the gym, which we generally do. Um, so I want to try and get some sort of fruit and veg in during the day. I want to do an Aldi shop either Friday night if the gym's closed or Saturday. We're booked in for the cinema Saturday because Kaylee, Kaylee and Steve really want to watch Uncharted. Um, apparently it's um, a video game, computer game that's been um, put into a film. So, yes, we're going to go and watch that and um, we're going early and then we're going to have a Nando's after. So I'll incorporate all that into my calories. I don't know whether to keep it a bit lower calorie and go for mash instead of chips at Nando's, but Nando's chips are so delicious though. That's the only thing, but we'll see. I've also ordered as a treat some yummy brownies. So I don't know whether, when they're going to come. I think it's like two days for them to make them and then they'll do, be dispatched. So they'll definitely not be here for weekends. So it might be joint week, but the range in calories is like 300 to 500. So but they look delicious. And actually, you know what? I love a brownie. Um, but I'm really happy that they've got calories on screen. So I just keep seeing everyone having these like cake deliveries and brownie deliveries. Um, so I started having a look and I've seen this website and they're just, I like a certain type of brownie me. I like them with soft and squidgy. I don't like cakey brownies. I like soft and squidgy ones with like crispy outers. And these look just what I like. So yes, I've ordered some. Um, so they should be coming next week so I need to search some calories for that but this is what calorie counting is about it's about the fact that you can have these indulgent treats as well as your healthy food and just really enjoyed using my ninja this week I've really I've used, I think I've used it every day sorry you have to excuse the shadow but yeah I think I've used it every day and I absolutely love it and I've got to say I know I was a bit dubious when I first got it and um I will just, I'm a bit faithful when it comes to things and I don't like to slander things, but yeah, it is miles better than my active fry. Um, what, the best thing about it is how easy it is to clean. Now, if you've got an active fry, you'll know that that centre bit, it gets oil on and it's so hard to clean. It's so hard to clean and obviously it's got nooks and crannies that you just can't get in. Um, so yeah, I, that's, that's the one thing that I used to, really dislike about the active fry the fact that i didn't feel like it was clean i couldn't film cooking in it because it looked like i'd not been cleaning it but actually i've been scrubbing it um, i don't know if anyone else found the same and my 
old Actifry was absolutely fantastic, but my new Actifry um, spat, like if I put my JD seasonings in, it spat it all out, all of our sides. And apparently it did that for a lot of people. So yeah, I am absolutely loving the Ninja. It's just been so easy and quick to use and um, really easy to clean. So yeah, definitely recommend that. Um, yeah, they should they should have hired me to help them sell them. <laughs> no, I am I am enjoying it. And the um, they sent the questionnaire actually. Do you know like when you've bought something, they'll send the questionnaire what you're thinking. I don't usually fill them in. I thought I'll fill it in, and it said. Um, what is the one thing like is there something that it could do that it doesn't do uh it, and have you cooked something in it that didn't turn out quite right so i put broccoli um i've put that i've burnt broccoli in it and i've put the only thing that i'd improve is the steamer option because it's the only thing that it's not replaced so if i cook like today i cook the chicken in there i cooked my mushroom in there i cook the um potato thing potato skin cook them in the ninja but i still like to steam the broccoli so i said it would be good to have a steamer option next minute i get to a few questions next and it says we're considering a steamer option oh yay they would do now i've just spent 200 quid on bloody machine though wouldn't they but a few years down the line when it's tried and tested if it could do steaming as well that would be fantastic i mean two drawers Chicken, mushroom, potato in one, steamed veg in other. You wouldn't need another, would you? Just so quick. I mean, that chicken, quite a big piece of chicken, and it took, I'd say, 17 minutes to cook. In oven, it had took me 15 minutes to warm it up, and it had took about 30 to 35 minutes. So the power that it saved um, and the time and... When you're working, you've got to have something quick. It's, I've got to feel like I'm only taking the time to like make a sandwich. And it is, you just go in, put your stuff in, go away, and then wait for it to, to ding, and then you're done. So, yeah, loving it, as you can tell. So, yeah, really good day. I will pop up my calorie count. I will pop up my nutritional information. Um, and, yeah, way day Saturday. And even though I've not exercised today or... Wednesday um I think I've had a good week overall and I'm really happy so I just hope it pays off in the scales but we'll soon find out anyway um hopefully we're going for a nice long walk on Sunday we've got the cinema on Saturday need to obviously get my normal motherly chores done in the house at the weekend but yeah got some good things planned and Steve's at home all week next week so I've got no worries so I'm going to try and get some doubles in at gym next week and I think he's away the week after so I'll only be able to do the one classes but yeah anyways I'm going to go now I'm going to rot on the set no I'm not I'm going to rot on the bed I'm going to watch some um YouTube do my vlog and I may watch a film so I will catch up with you all tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this vlog, please give it a thumbs up and drop a comment below. If you've not already subscribed, it would be fantastic if you could. So I will catch you tomorrow for another what I eat in a day for 1,400 calories. I will be introducing intermittent fasting in, but I won't be doing it every day. And that'll hopefully be from next week. So catch you soon. Bye.